The objective of judo in competition is to either take down or throw your opponent to the ground, immobilize your opponent with a pin, or force your opponent to submit to you with a well-placed joint lock or choke. In the early beginnings of its development, judo has been referred to as Kano Jujutsu, and in modern day judo became an Olympic sport starting in the 1964 games in Tokyo. In this video, we will talk about the founder of judo, Jigoro Kano. We will discuss the origins of judo and its development. Before we even get to judo itself, we should take a look at its roots. The Japanese old style of jujitsu combined with sumo wrestling techniques were systems of unarmed combat that were developed and practiced during the Muromachi period from 1333 to 1573. During these times of constant threat from different enemies, jujutsu styles like Sengoku Jujutsu during the Sengoku time in the Muromachi period in 1532 were not martial arts systems of unarmed combat, but rather ways for an unarmed or lightly armed samurai warrior to fight a heavily armed full armored warrior enemy in battle on the battlefield. It was very difficult or impossible for a samurai warrior to use his long sword or pole arm in full armor and therefore was forced to rely on his short sword or bare hands and the effective use of these minor weapons required a samurai warrior to use their grappling skills. These ways and methods of combat used on the battlefield had to be perfected since the life of the samurai was dependent on his skill in battle. Different methods of striking, punching and kicking were developed but at the same time, more importantly, various takedowns, trips, body throws, shoulder and hip throws, also joint locking throws, leg sweeping and unbalanced throws from sumo wrestling were introduced and perfected for the need on the battlefield in close quarter fighting. Sacrifice throws, strangling, grappling, pinning, the use of rope tying and other weaponry like the Kabuto warrior, the helmet breaker, Kako Shibuki, the secret disguised weapons and the tonto, the knife, were developed and practiced during this time of constant threat from enemies. Defensive tactics like evading, blocking, off-balancing the opponent, blending and escaping methods were developed. The latest styles of Jujutsu that are now known as Nihon Jujutsu commonly seen today were founded during the Edo period and are classified as Edo Jujutsu and were designed more to deal with opponents that were not wearing any armor or used on the battlefield. Instead, the Jujutsu systems of this time were geared towards confronting an enemy or opponent during peacetime that was dressed in the normal street attire. The use of grips and holds using the opponent's clothing was practiced and perfected. There have been many forms of sport jujutsu developed till today, but the original and the most popular one being judo. The name jujutsu became a blanket term for a variety of grappling related disciplines and techniques by the 17th century. Before that, the styles and skills practiced by the Japanese warriors used names like Grappling, which means kumiuchi, body art, tajujitsu, catching hand, torite, and even way of softness, which means judo. These were names used as early as 1724, two centuries before Kano Jigoro founded the modern art of what we know today as kokodan judo. 
Judo or the Gentle Way was created in 1882, with its origins coming from Jiu-Jitsu by Jigoro Kano, who is the founder of Judo. Jigoro Kano lived from 1860 to 1938 and was born Shinosuke Jigoro. As a child, Jigoro Kano had an academic upbringing and from the age of seven he studied English, Shodo, Japanese calligraphy and the four Confucius texts, with the help of a few tutors. Then, at the age of 14 in 1874, Kano Jigoro was enrolled in the English medium school Ikyu Gyuchu in Shiba, Tokyo. Because of the culture of bullying endemic at this school, Kano Jigoro was geared towards seeking out a Jujutsu Dojo at which to train and to get stronger. This was the first step in the journey towards the development and creation of Judo in 1882, eight years later. But the early attempts to find a Jujutsu instructor were unsuccessful, since with the fall of the Tokugawa Shogunate in the Meiji Restoration of 1868, Jujutsu had become unfashionable in these times of increasingly westernized Japan. In 1877, during his studies at the Tokyo Kaisei School, eventual Jigoro Kano was accepted to train under Fukuda Hachinosuke. He was a teacher of Tenjin Shinoryu of Jujutsu, who had a nine mat dojo where he taught five of his students. Here is where Kano Jigoro learned basics, and since Fukuda emphasized techniques over formal exercises, Kano Jigoro started developing the love of randori, which is free practice in Judo. When Fukuda passed away in August 14 of 1879, Kano Jigoro by then became the most able, the most honed student in Randori and Kata in Fukuda Sansei Jujutsu Dojo, and therefore was given the Densho, which were the scrolls of the Fukuda Dojo. Kano Jigoro then continued his studies of Jujutsu at another Tenjin Shinoryu school. His new instructor was Iso Masatomo, who placed more emphasis on the study and practice of Kata and he entrusted the instructions of Randori to his assistants, which was increasingly Kano Jigoro. After the passing of Iso Masamoto in June of 1881, Kano Jigoro then went to study at the dojo of Ikubo Sunetoshi, who taught Kitoryo style. Here, Jigoro found emphasis on training Randori again, with greater focus on Nagewaza, which are throwing techniques. In 1882, Kano Jigoro founded his first dojo at the Eishoji, a small judo sect Buddhist temple in the Shimotami section of Tokyo. The dojo consisted of a small 214 square feet with 12 mats of training area. The Eishoji temple was originally a shoin, which is a style of Japanese residential architecture used in temple guest halls and Zen abbot's quarters during the Edo periods. Here, Kano Jigoro took on his first residence and non-resident students. The first resident students being Tomita Tsunejiro and Shiro Saigo, both becoming part of the four guardians of Kokodan Judo. In August of 1883, Tomita Tsunejiro and Shigo Saigo received the grade of Shodan, the black belt rank from Kano Jigoro, and were the first Shodan that has ever been awarded in any martial arts in that period of time. Tomita Tsunejiro was known as one of the four guardians of Kokodan Judo for his victorious efforts in competing against Jujutsu schools. Upon his death in January 13 of 1937, he was awarded the 7th Dan rank. Shiro Saigo was also one of the four guardians of Kokodan Judo, along with Yoshitsugu Yamashita and Sakujiro Yokoyama. Shiro Saigo was a man of extreme agility and was known for the nickname Cat, due to his skills of landing on his feet when thrown. 
a skill that he observed in cats and trained by jumping off the second floor of a building. He was also known as Octopus Feet for his ability not to lose his footing. Yamashita Yoshitsugu was the first person that has been awarded the 10 degree red belt rank in Kokodan Judo and was a pioneer of Judo in the United States, giving a lesson to President Roosevelt and President Secretary William Loeb Jr. in a room in the White House and teaching Judo in January of 1905 at the U.S. Naval Academy to about 25 students. Yokoyama Sakujiro was nicknamed the Demon Slayer and was considered the toughest martial artist in Japan in those times, known for his long-lasting matches like the one with Hansuke Nakamura that lasted 55 minutes. Half an hour standing and 25 minutes on the ground, and both were so tired that the referee had to forcefully pry their numb fingers apart to separate them when the match ended. Sakujiro was considered one of the most formidable judo experts of the time. He was known for his large size, violent fighting styles, and the will to train and fight any time. Kokodan judo spread throughout the whole world after and was first contested as an Olympic sport for men in the 1964 games in Tokyo, Japan and the women's judo was introduced as a demonstration at the Olympics in 1988 and officially introduced in 1992. Kokodan judo and its history from its beginning roots in jujutsu to today's competitions in the Olympics would not have been possible without its founder, a Japanese polymath, an educator, a young child by the name of Kano Jigoro that at the age of 14 had the need and chose to seek out a jujutsu dojo school to train at and become stronger because of the culture of bullying endemic at his school that he faced. In February of 1882, Kano Jigoro founded his school at Ashiji Buddhist Temple and even though Kano Jigoro had not yet received his menkyo, the certificate of mastery in Kito Ryu from his instructor Ikubo Tsunetoshi who came to the temple three days a week to help Kano Jigoro with the teachings, this date is considered in history as regarded as Kokodan Judo founding date, even though the dojo in the temple was only given the name Kokodan, which means a place of expounding the way, two years later. Today, there are many Judo dojos around the world. And this martial art of the gentle way is practiced by millions of students daily. Us. Thank you for watching. Hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you guys on the next video. Arigato. Mm -hmm.